I always wanted to do this video and I keep on forgetting to do it. So here it goes. <laughs> I really wanted to point out some differences between a wheelchair, a power wheelchair, or a manual wheelchair and a scooter. Um, you know, sometimes it can be hard to choose if you don't know what the differences are, what you're going to run into, um, which one is better. So, you know, for, for people out there, because I've, I've used both, um, you know, uh, the scooter is longer. That's, that's the biggest difference. It's longer. You have to have a much wider turn radius. And that might not be so good for smaller homes. Um, yes, they're narrow, but you have to get used to backing up. You have to get used to um, doing that wide turn, that wide radius turn. So um, you really have to be careful in your choices. In the power wheelchair, you know, you can do a, a, you know, you you can do a very short turn, and it pivots on itself, so you don't have to do this wide turn that the scooter needs. So that could be a disadvantage for you. I, it's a little bit harder to me. It's a little bit harder to drive uh, because you really have to slow down and 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 be be aware of your turns. Um, because it's going to need more space to turn. Um, it's it's narrower, but uh, but <laughs> it's longer. So you have to have in mind how long the the scooter is versus the power wheelchair. It's like a square almost, and so you don't have to worry so much about the back wheels um, and kind and you know the scooter. You have to remember how long you are and that radius that you need to turn and make sure you're not going to whack somebody in the back <laughs> with the back wheels. So that is really important to, uh, to remember. Um, so it, it really, it's in the turn to me. That's what kind of drove me nuts. I, I did use a scooter for a little while because the the therapist wanted me to kind of get a sense of what it would be like to use uh, a power wheelchair. She wanted me to get a power wheelchair in the house. We had a scooter. So she said, I want you to use the scooter so that you kind of get a sense of the energy you will save. So you save energy on the power wheelchair. You also um, save energy on the scooter. If you're going to just use a scooter outside, then I would say feel free, you know, to, to go with uh, a scooter. But if you're going to do inside and outside, I'm not sure that the scooter would, you know, if you have a large house, then, you know, not a problem. You can use a scooter and, and make space for the turn radius because the seats on the scooter pivot so you can drive up to the to the table and then turn the seat around so that's not a big issue but it, it's just the the length of the scooter that's just to me it's uncomfortable <laughs> so <laughs> you're the power wheelchair i can park it in my room not a problem it doesn't take up like a whole lot of space but the scooter would be a huge problem <laughs> so <laughs> i'd have to park it outside and and then an emergency, you know, I'm, you know, my legs just go rubbery when when I'm trying to, you know, deal with an emergency. So I would say a power wheelchair is more practical. It's easier to drive. It's easier to use in smaller places. And then it's good for inside and out. The scooter, I would say it's only good for larger spaces. And, and for outside. So I don't know. I'm hoping this information is good for you if you're trying to decide between a scooter and, and a power wheelchair. Now, some scooters are really bulky and big, 
and they're good for the streets, sidewalks and crossing streets, and they can go pretty far. So, you know, again, if you're going to use it outside only, then go for it, whatever style you want of scooters. Uh, but if, if you're going to use it inside, then I'm not so sure I would go with a scooter unless your house is really big and you have a lot of space <laughs> to make those turns because that is the most difficult piece of a scooter. And getting into an elevator with a scooter is a pain. <laughs> you really have to practice. Um, you know, and I just let people know I'm coming in with the scooter. Sometimes I drive in backwards, but that's because I practiced a lot. Um, sometimes you end up in a hurry. You have to drive into the scooter, and then you're facing the wall of the um, you're facing the wall of the elevators. <laughs> so then, when you're getting out, you have to be really careful that you don't hit somebody. So um, you'd have to use. I have a mirror here, um, and I would suggest that anybody with a scooter would use a mirror. This this goes on the hand um, mostly, so you know when I'm driving around in in business places, I usually use a mirror because I want to see behind me, you know, and I look behind me on the mirror so I can make sure that nobody's behind me. And that's something you can do with a scooter. A scooter, some scooters have a rear view mirror. Um, and you could probably use this one and just wrap it around the, um, what's it called, the handle. So that is a solution. Um, so you don't hit somebody from behind. <laughs> so, yikes. Power wheelchairs are more specialized. So that's why they run high in terms of cost. But if your insurance is going to cover it, you know, you just got to see how much you would end up paying and how much the insurance would, would pay. Scooters are much more cheaper. You know, they run, they can run the smaller ones, $150, $200, uh, maybe $300, the bigger ones. So those are much, you know, the insurance will cover scooters as well. Uh, I think they're happier with scooters <laughs> so <laughs> because of the cost. Uh, but uh, again, it's a driving skill that you would need to test. And you can go to a store and try out uh, a power wheelchair versus a scooter and see how you feel. So they'll let you do that. Uh, <coughs> and they'll ask you questions about, you know, your house and how narrow it is and all that kind of stuff. So <coughs> so those are the kind of things that th they'll ask you. They'll help you decide um, one or the other. So, um, so those are the things that I would take into account uh, is the, the space that you have to drive around, uh, how comfortable it is, you know, in terms of you got to think about transportation as well if you're going to transport the scooter, if you're going to transport the power wheelchair, or are you looking at a uh, lightweight manual wheelchair? So those are the three that you have to really compare and think about uh, to see which one, you know, with the manual wheelchair, you have to propel yourself, you know, and uh, you have to see the condition of your shoulders. Uh, and tho that's the biggest worry with manual wheelchairs are the shoulders. So always. With a power wheelchair, not a problem. <laughs> Except for the um, footrest can be an issue. I have an issue with my footrest because it's a it's flat triangle one, and that's very hard for me to get up. So when we switch this one out, we're, we're going to get the swing away footrest. So it'll be much easier for me to, to handle. So in only a few models of power wheelchairs allow you to switch out the the flat um, footrest to the swingaways. So we'll have to kind of think about that and, and see which ones are going to really work for me. So because I've been using power wheelchairs.
uh, scooters are just not convenient in my environment, even though it's a pretty big building. But uh, the dining room is a problem, and the living room, up the living room, the common room upstairs is <laughs> not not easy to handle. So, and it would be a nightmare for a scooter. <laughs> So you just have to look at your your environment and and see what what's going to be best. So um, that's what I wanted to say. If you're trying to decide between the three, uh, and um, you know, if you have any more questions about it, please feel free to post down below, um, and or go to a store and and just say, hey, I'm trying to make a decision between one and the other. Can you help me? And I'll be happy to do that. So. Uh, this is a video I wanted to uh, put out there, and I just totally forgot a million times. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> I hope it's helpful. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.